Hi, uh, hello everyone. I am Varad Prasad. In this video, we will discuss um, some Salesforce interview questions. Already, I have uploaded so many interview questions uh, regarding Salesforce interview questions. So these are very very important, and um, these interview questions only nowadays everyone asking and all interviews. So please go to the my previous videos. You can check here all the these are the my previous video, Salesforce interview questions. Already I have uploaded these videos in uh, YouTube. Uh, my channel name is Vara Prasad V. If you like, uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, uh, share it to other people. Okay. Uh, in this video, we will discuss about some uh, sample scenario related to Salesforce SQL queries. Okay. Uh, so these are the sample uh, questions nowadays interview will ask you uh, like. Uh, he will ask you like uh, write a sample query uh, on account object the account which is not having contacts or which is having contacts in a single sample query we need to write accounts which is having contacts or which is not having contacts like that he will ask you so here you can see right display account records which is not having contacts in a single sample query so here directly we can put like this name from account where id not in select account id from contact is this means this account ID is not existing in any any contact. So here we can get directly to the account uh, not having contacts. For example, we'll check same query here. Uh, I will open my Salesforce org and I will show you like uh, how we can query all those data. See for example, SEL select name. We are writing query and account object. So, ID comma name from account uh, where ID your ID means account ID right and ID not in C L E C direct account ID from contact. So this means uh, account we are querying first account record where account ID not in select account ID from contact. So if let's go this query, so it will display the request. Whatever the displaying here, all accounts, these accounts is not having contacts. For example, we'll take any one ID, we'll check here. So account is not having contacts. So in single circle query, we can write all this logic. So see, contacts are empty. So this is for example, he will ask another type like account which is having contacts. So simply we can remove this not and we can as good same query. So these accounts having contacts. So in single SQL query we are fetching accounts which is having contacts and which is not having contacts. Uh, this type of military questions will ask you. Rel these are the related to uh, SQL queries. SQL means like uh, to retrieve data from Salesforce we are using SQL. Okay, see so for example this is the account here account is having contact. So this is the sample query we can write like this only. Okay, uh, this is also important. And another question is uh, they will ask you how we can lock records in the Apex code using SQL. To lock records in Apex code, we need to use for update keyword in the SQL query. Just that's it. Whenever we will use for update in the SQL query, those records will be uh, locked at the time of. Uh, Apex code like generally sometimes we can see right unable to lock row error generally this this error will come uh, at, the, at the same time we are updating same record or uh, multiple persons like are uh, you are updating record and I am also updating record at the same time so we will get that error unable to lock row so to avoid those errors generally we are using up for update keyword in the code this this for update keyword will not work on the developer console this will be Available in uh, only Apex code only Apex uh, class only we can use this one for update. It will not support for the uh, developer console SQL query. Here we cannot use this for update in the here. It will not support actually. And one more thing is uh, this is uh, only available in the uh, classes and triggers only. And uh, uh, interview will ask you like simple how we can lock record in the Apex class using SQL query then we can directly say like that for update we can use for update in the SQL query okay this is as a um, important and another one is uh, how we can 
retrieve recycled recycled bin request in the SQL query. To retrieve recycled bin request from SQL query, sorry, from recycled bin, we need to use uh, all rows keyword in the uh, SQL. That's it. If you use all rows uh, keyword in the SQL, it will retrieve the uh, uh, recycled bin records. For example, uh, uh, even uh, and one more thing is and for update and uh, all rows we cannot use uh, in a single SQL query. We cannot use all rows keyword and private keyword in a single SQL. Okay, so and this all rows keyword also only available in the uh, like uh, developer console and uh, Apache classes. It is not available in the query. It, it, it this one will not support in the query editor. For example, if we want to test, uh, we want to display deleted records. Just I will I'm copying this code and uh, I will execute the same code in the developer console so that we can understand. Control A, Control B. See, so for example, we will use this query here. In that query editor, query editor will not support for all rows keyword and for update keyword. Okay, so to test, for example, you want to test all rows uh, keyword in a, uh, uh, we can use anonymous window. Here we can execute this code, then we can check. For example, I will check in my M recycle bin any records are there or not. So that so in the uh, okay. In the recycle bin I have only one record. So we'll check now this record will retrieve or not. Okay. I will execute this code. In debug only. So here see we can write master account. This record is uh, available in the master account. For example, we want to retrieve records, uh, uh, e even uh, recycled bin records, and as well as the normal our database records. Directly, we can remove here is deleted equals to true. If you remove where is deleted equals to true, then it will remove all the records, whatever the empty uh, recycled bin records as well as the database records. So, for example, I will execute this one. We'll check uh, logs, so it will uh, display all the records. See here, we can see all the records available even uh, along with the recycle bin we want only uh, recycle bin records then we need to use is deleted equals to true okay these are uh, three these three are the related to SQL query interview questions and these are very very important and uh, interview will you uh, ask you and okay that's all from this video if you like my video please subscribe and share it to your other your friends thanks guys thanks for watching have a nice day. Bye.